Hi there. Yeah. They've come to my house. The 80s era was one of the golden ages of action filming, and some of its best actors are legends of the entertainment industry today. Welcome to Movie How, and today we'll be taking a look at the 10 best action stars of the 80s. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more videos like today. Tenth place, Kurt Russell. Kicking off our lists, we have Kurt Russell, an American actor who began acting at just age 12 in the travels of Jamie McFeeters. He's known for starring anti-hero roles such as the hero turned robber Snake Pliskin in Escape from New York from 1981 and its sequel Escape from LA. The participated in The Thing and also Big Trouble in Little China. In the late 1960s, he signed a 10-year contract with the Walt Disney Company, where, according to Robert Osborne, he became the studio's top star of the 1970s. As a matter of fact, he's known as one of the best actors to have ever received an Academy Award nomination. Ninth place, Chuck Norris. Well, how could we not put such an iconic action actor as Chuck Norris somewhere in our list? Norris is a famous martial artist, actor, film producer and screenwriter who first served in the United States Air Force. He won martial arts championships and even founded his own discipline, Chun Kuk Do. He's a black belt in Tang So Do, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and even Judo. He also trained celebrities in martial arts while he was in Hollywood. He participated in many martial arts films such as A Force of One, An Eye for an Eye and Silent Rage. He is a noted writer having penned books on martial arts, exercise, philosophy, politics, Christianity, western novels and biography. He was twice a New York Times best-selling author, first with his book on his personal philosophy of positive force and the psychology of self-improvement based on personal anecdotes called The Secret of Inner Strength, My Story, published in 1988. 8th place, Harrison Ford. Currently aged 78, yet still standing strong, Harrison Ford is an actor, pilot and environmental activist known for being the fourth on the list of highest grossing domestic box office stars of all time, with the US domestic box office grossing total of over $5.1 billion among all his films. He starred as Han Solo in the epic space opera film Star Wars during pretty much all of them until his untimely death at the hands of his own son in The Last Trilogy. Trilogy. He's also the famous portrayer of Indiana Jones beginning with the action-adventure film Raiders of the Lost Ark from 1981. His career spans six decades and includes collaborations with some of the most acclaimed and influential filmmakers of all time, including George Lucas, Francis Ford Coppola, Steven Spielberg, Ridley Scott, Peter Weir and Mike Nichols. Seventh place, Mel Gibson. Probably the youngest actor in this list, yet still aged 64, Mel Gibson is another 80s action film star, known for his breakout role as Max Rokotansky in the post-apocalyptic films Mad Max, and also Martin Riggs in Lethal Weapon. During the 1980s, Gibson founded Icon Entertainment, a production company that produced Braveheart, another famous historical epic that Gibson himself starred and for which he won Golden Globe for Best Director, Academy Award for Best Director and even for Best Picture. He's also the director and producer for iconic biblical drama The Passion of the Christ. Sixth place, Sylvester Stallone. Michael Sylvester Gardenzio Stallone, born on July 6th, 1946, comes in the sixth spot of our list. He began as a struggling actor for several years after arriving to New York in 1969 and then later Hollywood in 1974, winning his first critical acclaim as an actor for his co-starring role as Stanley Rosiello in The Lords of the Flatbush. He found gradual work as an extra or side character in films until he finally obtained his greatest success as an actor with his self-created role of, you guessed it, Rocky Balboa in the iconic Rocky series where he's an underdog boxer against several brutal opponents, even managing to win the World Heavyweight Championship twice and also playing John Rambo in all five of the Rambo films. 
Did you also know that he wrote or co-wrote most of the films in these franchises and even directed many of them? Talk about being good in many fields of entertainment. He was nominated for Best Original Screenplay and Best Actor for Rocky in 1977, becoming the third man in history to receive both of these nominations for the same film after Charlie Chaplin and Orson Welles. Fifth place, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Next up, and right in the middle of our list, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's not only one of the iconic actors of the 80s, but also the most recent Republican governor of California. Arnold Alois Schwarzenegger happens to be even more diverse than Stallone, as he's not only just an actor, but also a businessman, politician, and even professional bodybuilder. Schwarzenegger began lifting weights at the age of 15 and went on to win the Mr. Universe title at age 20, before winning the Mr. Olympia contest seven times, also authoring many books and articles on the act of bodybuilding. He's known as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time and one of the sport's most charismatic and famous ambassadors, and famous for appearing as the title character in The Terminator, its following sequels and other successful action films, such as Commando, Predator and True Lies. Fourth place, Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver is an American actress known to be the quintessential action heroine of science fiction films. Who doesn't remember the iconic final battle between Ellen Ripley against the Xenomorph in the Alien franchise? This earned her an Academy Award nomination in 1986, and it's often regarded as one of the most significant female protagonists in cinema history. She was also voted number 20 in Channel 4's countdown of the 100 greatest movie stars of all time in 2003, being one of only two women in the top 20. Third place, Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren is a filmmaker, actor and martial artist hailing from Sweden who starred in Rocky IV as the Soviet Union boxer Ivan Drago. His star-making role that elevated him to worldwide celebrity status and allowed him to star in more than 70 films, almost all of them in the action genre. However, most people don't know that besides being a successful action heartthrob, he's also pretty smart and well-educated. Receiving a degree in chemical engineering from the Royal Institute of Technology, a master's degree in the same field from the University of Sydney, and even receiving a Fulbright scholarship to MIT, though his girlfriend convinced him to leave the university and move to NYC to be with her and start acting. Seems like it worked out in the end. Second place, Peter Weller. Peter Weller is a stage actor and TV director known for appearing in over 70 films and TV series including Robocop in 1987 and Robocop 2 three years later, playing the title character. He also participated in Star Trek Into Darkness in 2013 and has received Academy Award nominations for his 1993 short Partners in which he also participated, and a Saturn Award nomination for his role as Robocop. First place. Jean-Claude Van Damme. There's no name in the film industry as synonymous with action films and more so from the 80s than Jean-Claude Van Damme's. This Belgian actor and retired martial artist is known precisely due to his martial arts action films, the most popular ones being Bloodsport, Cyborg, Kickboxer, Lionheart and even more recent films such as The Bouncer. So, what are your thoughts on these incredible action stars of the 80s? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time.